Hey everyone, my name is Marco from My Color Screen, and if you'd like to recreate this badass Android home screen onto your phone, let us begin with today's video tutorial. So Eric B has a fantastic screen of the day titled Comic Glory version 2 and if you are a fan of comics or anything of the sort you have to have this on your Android phone. It is a must. I've never seen such a good looking phone that involves comics sliding from side to side. It just looks fantastic. It's a three page setup. Swiping from side to side you've got your different comics that each open it like any app that you would want. It's really fantastic. It's got dock icons at the bottom that you can hide or show whenever you want. This is a fantastic screen if you want something original and walking around on the streets and people say wow where did you get that screen? Well from my color screen and let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great so starting out so the launcher that you'll be needing I'll be using Nova Launcher for this setup and I know I always use Nova Launcher but hey it works and I really enjoy it. You're welcome to use Apex Launcher, SS Launcher, Holo Launcher for all those gingerbread fans. Pretty much any launcher that can handle UCCW widgets and change your grid size. So that's cleared out. Let us begin with starting with our launcher settings. We're going to hold down on the home screen. Just going to tap the little wrench there to get into your, your Nova settings or whatever launcher settings you have. And we start off with the desktop. So we're going to go into our desktop grid and we're going to change it to a 12 by 12. This seemed to work very well for me for my Nexus 4 as well as my S2 over here. So a 12 by 12 should seem to work out but maybe make it a 10 by 10 see if that how that works out for you so margins you want to be none shadows you want to be off home screens you want to have three home screens you just need to add them or two home screens doesn't really matter but three looks the best scroll effect now you can go for whatever you want i just go for a none to show you that completely sliding effect it looks really good under scroll you want to have infinite scroll selected just so you can swipe you just want to keep on swiping with all those widgets it looks really good your label icons you want to be disabled but you want to be able to resize all widgets and now it comes to the advanced setting in our, in our desktop settings where you want widgets overlap and overlap when placing. Now it is needed for the one way I'll be showing you but it's not necessary if we can't get to these settings so just keep that in mind there are two ways of setting the screen up. So next you want your dock now you want it to be you want it to be enabled but what I like to do is if we go into our gestures and buttons then from here you can change different gestures so I always like to use a swipe up to hide it or show it depending on whatever your preferences are you can change it to whatever you want so that's like that's just the way that I like to set it up as well as there's no app draw per se so I highly recommend making your home button this one over here or this one over here for all those Samsung fans making that your home button so you just can get to your app draw easily your dock pages though you want it to be just say one and your dock number of dock icons you want it to be five just keep that in mind finally look and feel you want it to be you want to disable your notification bar you don't want to be able to see that one at the top however like I said you can just use your gestures to say double tap to show it and then double tap to hide it again just so you can see a quick status for say your Wi-Fi your battery whatever you want so that's your Nova settings done we're gonna go back so it should look like this and like I said just swiping up and down can show or hide your dock whatever your preferences are so let's jump into that awesome looking wallpaper so for the wallpaper we're gonna be holding down on the home screen selecting wallpapers and now you can either say use your uh, quick pick or your gallery it doesn't really matter the exact same goes for any other phone that you'll be using so say if you just want to go into your quick pick find the wallpaper that's been copied onto your phone now I highly recommend using the one that doesn't have the black bars simply because now you can set it up to however you want those bars to look so if you're using Nova Nova launcher you got your little crop at the bottom there and you want to select that and then select portrait just so you can see exactly what it's going to look like and then just resize it so that more or less it's in the middle just so like that so you want to select okay it's going to set that wallpaper for you to set my wallpaper with Nexus 4 I always have to go with wallpaper wizardry I don't know why you just want to go set crop and then crop portrait Remember this is only for Nexus 4 as it does a funny jump thing and it, it just looks really messy if you're trying to set a screenshot. Remember you just want to select the top, you don't want to get that status bar at the bottom and then select set. And there is that awesome looking Marvel Comics wallpaper set up for you. Once that's done we're going to jump straight into the UCCW widgets. Great so like I said starting off with the UCCW widgets now you're going to be start adding those black bars going across those basically look like the borders or the comic 
folders, I guess you'd call them, not too sure, but it just looks, finishes it off very well. So you want to hold down, select widgets, choose a UCCW, doesn't matter what size you want. I just, I just close my eyes and choose whatever. And now you want to select use it at the top. From here, you want to find that folder that you've copied onto your phone. Don't copy the PSD like I did. It's a massive folder. So you want to select your black bar dot use it, the one at the top here. It's going to import it for you. What it essentially is, is well, it's just a black bar. So quite a good description there you just want to resize it now you just want to tap the hand it's going to place it now for you and you just want to resize it so that the edges touch so it's very easy to do as long as those edges touch your black bar is set up you want to do exactly the same to the bottom now except that you don't have to import it this time you just want to select your widgets again go to uccw again choose any size again and then from here you just want to select it from the list so so there is my black bar i'm just going to select it and now it's just going to not import it, it's just gonna, I don't know, just place it again. So that's pretty much that done. And you just wanna resize it, tap the hand and make sure that the edges touch. So that looks good. And you wanna now do that to every single one of the screens. But now, however, there's two ways of doing this. If you wanna save some battery, I guess, you can now screenshot this and save this as your wallpaper. So that, well, it also saves some time so that you don't have to do it to each one of these three wallpapers. But however, when you lock your screen, it's going to have these black bars as well as going into your app drawer. So have a think about that. Personally, I think it's great that you can just screenshot this and save this as your wallpaper as who doesn't like saving some battery. So like I said, there are two ways, either doing this and doing it to each one of them or just setting this as your wallpaper. I'm going to set it as my wallpaper. So once you set it as your wallpaper, you can just hold down and select remove remove those uccw widgets you don't have to you don't need them anymore so now all my screens look like this so it looks really good so now we can move on to adding more of the uccw widgets and to do that you just simply have to hold down select widgets go back into the uccw choose any size doesn't really matter and then you want to select use up now from here there are also two ways of adding in your user. First off, it's the comic bar tiles, you can call them, where it's simply a whole block of user's. I'll give you an example of selecting the bottom one. As you can see, it looks like this. There's four in a row, so that makes it easy. If you've got all those apps and that looks really good, you don't want to change anything, then I highly recommend going with these. However, say if you don't want to have Google, or you don't want to have Dropbox, then you want to move on to the individual user's. And those will be found in the individual comic tile user's only eight. And this is where you'll find each one of them. So say if you just wanted to add in the internet and you wanna import it now, once resized, it'll look like this. Now, as you can see, it's only one, but the great thing about this one is that now you can change everything about it. So that's great that you can add in individual ones and set them accordingly. But what I've done to make it even easier for you is just created a completely editable one of these. So you can actually change the picture, the text, whatever you want. And that is one called comic dash you choose. So why well, I called it that, well, now you can actually choose exactly what you want. And I'll show you how to set up a individual comic. So all you want to do is tap the widget once it's, it's being loaded. And this will, this will bring up your UCCW editor. Now to edit it, you want to select background, which will bring up your select object menu here. And from here, let's say you want to change your image. So that's going to be your image one. That's going to be, the, say, this Deadpool comic. So you want to swipe across and select image. From here, you want to select, say, your quick pick, doesn't really matter, or your gallery. But you want to find those comic wallpapers, all of them, or the comics that have been copied onto your phone. As you can see, there's quite a list to choose from. So say you wanted to go for an awesome Iron Man comic there, it's going to set it for you, but it's going to either be bigger or smaller, you want to edit that. So you want to scroll across to scale, and then just maybe scale it down a bit. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you want to change that camera, you don't, you don't want it to say camera. All you can do here is just select object again and go into static text 1. This will be your white one I think, and you want to scroll across till it says text. From here you don't want to, ch you want to change that. Hey, I found my stylus. So you want to change it to say something like your Google Chrome. So you just type in Chrome, select OK, and then it changes to Chrome. Remember, if it's a little bit too wide, say if you want to say WhatsApp or whatever, you might have to shrink it a bit, but you can do that in your, in your sizing and positioning over here. Next, you want to change your static text to to say the exact same thing because that's just the black shadow. I guess you could just make a shadow for the first text, but this is already done, so I thought, why not just... 
leave it like this it's it's a little bit more simple so there it is set up like that now you'll want it to open up chrome so you want to select back into your select objects here and you want to select your hotspots no idea what hotspots are check out our uccw tutorials in the description below as well as everything else you need it's all in the description sorry i always forget to say that in the beginning so from here you want to select this hotspot you're only going to have one hotspot unless you want more but you want to select hotspot and then app and now you can choose from any app that you would want that you have currently running on your android operating system so from here you want to select your app such as chrome and it's going to set chrome for you like that you're also welcome to make it bigger or smaller the hotspot but i'm going to leave it like this for display purposes so now you've set it up the way you want it and you can either save it i do recommend saving it but you can always just go lock widgets and then turn it on so that's going to enable the hotspot and to test it out you're just going to select it and it'll bring up your chrome i don't have internet at the moment but it will show your chrome web page so now you can just do to each one of those which i'll be doing now one thing to take note you might get a little white square like you just saw there but it comes back after a while if not just go back into uccw and select your comics from the list great so i've now added in all the uccw widgets as you can see it looks really good it's got that continuous scroll effect so you can just keep on going forever so that is that done out of the way finally you just need to move on to your dock if we swipe up there it is so say now you want to edit each one of these dock icons, you just want to hold down on each one of them, select edit, select the icon, and you want to choose these awesome icons called flat cons white. They're free and there's quite a few to choose from so you won't get bored there and they look really great with this theme. Once you've selected the one that you want, you just want to select tick, you can also just make one an app draw if you choose. So that is this home screen completed. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the My Color Screen channel, please do so as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities as well as our blog. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing. Hey bro. So Eric B has created a fantastic screen of the day titled Comic Glue. By showing you different UCCWs, well, <laughs> great. So the great. So start. Great. So starting out the no.